up, ready to go. Got it all strapped down. Saw our airbag video. The truck doesn't have any more squats. So we'll really test out these airbags on this trip. So taking the rollback, we're gonna put the C10 on that and gonna follow all the way to Bowling Green, Kentucky. So we'll take you guys along, see how this trip pans out. Hopefully no big issues on the way. All right, we got the Rambler loaded up and we got the C10 loaded up. So we are on our way to LS Fest. We're gonna stop in West Virginia over the night and then head the rest of the way in the morning. So we'll take you along for the ride. We're leaving a little late because everybody had to get off work, but it is Thursday, so we'll get there tomorrow. We're trying to get there in time for the road racing and try to get there in time to tech for drag racing. So we got the Rambler on the trailer and then the C10's following us on the rollback. So we will see you there tomorrow. All right, well, we made it to LS Fest and we are teching in for the road course. So we're gonna film that, try to get as best shots as we can. Um, it's kind of hard to see the actual road course, but we'll try to be able to get up there and get some pictures from you, but at least we'll have some in-car footage. So it's exciting. Hopefully we get some good video. We got the Rambler here. So we're getting ready to go up on the track and do some racing on the track. So this will be pretty interesting. Here's a good look at some of the cars over here, guys. So really cool cars coming in through here. So we found a spot that's pretty good so we can get some footage of the road course. So we're gonna try to stay up here and see if we can see him coming around um, from a better view so we can get some footage for you guys. All right, well, we're getting ready to go. So we have the Rambler and we're getting ready to run it on the track. First time, hopefully it goes well. Yes, it's gonna be very exciting. Past tech and everything, all that hard work paid off this weekend. Got everything working, brakes work good, steering's good, so should be good for... Going against real Corvette. Yes, going against all these guys, so we'll see how it goes. I'll try to get up there on the hill so I can get some good shots, and then I'll try to get some in-car footage also. There he goes, whole sleeper rambler.
right guys, well we got the Rambler out for its first lap, having some fuel slosh issues. Um, sounds like we just need to put some gas in it or fix something with the fuel pump. But that's kind of why it wasn't going very fast. There's an autocross right here as I'm doing this, so definitely a cool event. But the Rambler is definitely a work in progress with some of the issues we got to dial up. But you wouldn't really know unless you drove it, so that's why we're here. So we're going to try to go out another lap. We changed some things with the suspension, tried to fix some of the issues, so hopefully this lap is a bit better. So now we're going to try to unload the C10, head over to the drag race event and see if we can get through tech through there. So we just left the track. Um, it was having another fuel issue. We put some more gas in it. It didn't seem to solve the issue. We think it might be a fuel pump issue. So on our way back to our hotel, um, we pulled into this parking lot because the fuel pump ended up dying on us. So we got loaded back up, pushed it on. So we're gonna have to figure out what's wrong with this thing so we can get back to the LSS tomorrow. So we're just like, hopefully we can find something to be able to fix this thing. All right, so to verify that our fuel pump is actually bad, it seems like it's just not getting fuel. We're gonna change this fuel filter out and see if that could be part of the problem. See if there's any junk in there. So we're gonna pull it out real quick. You can see all the foam over my arm. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's... Cake. Do it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah, I would say that's our part of our problem. Holy crap. Wonderful Amazon tank. Yeah, we gotta change this. This is ridiculous. That tank is filled with this. That's a good, you know, warning to you guys. If you have this foam stuff, I mean it disintegrates from gas, you know. Yeah. So we got a new fuel filter in there. So let's try to fire this thing up. All right, much better. Runs good. A good uh, almost 50 pounds of fuel pressure. All right, guys, we finally made it to LSS. So we're just driving through right now. 
the Ramblers in front of this golf cart in front of me and I'm driving the seats and we're gonna go through a tech for drag racing here. But there is already so many cool cars. It's awesome here. So I'm really happy we got through here. All right, well, the only thing we didn't have in tech was an overflow bottle for the radiator. We're robbing the one off the Rambler and using this old wall, uh, peach bottle. It and we're going to... Yeah, it was in the trash, so we're going to use that as our overflow. Should hook that up and then pass tech. Yeah, here we Doing some MacGyvering. Yeah. Trying to pass tech. Got to get that. Found some leftover parts on the back of the Rambler. Yes. <laughs> Tiny wrap, hose plant, this bottle. Yeah, just Where'd enough clamps, trash. trash. Oh, nice. Deal. This is why mom's so proud of me. I'm scavenging through garbage Here, cans. Here, slice the... Uh, oh, uh, what? Hmm? There we go. Okay. It's day two at LS Fest, and we're doing the drag racing today. Um, we missed the test and tune yesterday because we were at the road course, so we're just gonna do the eliminations today. Knowing this, probably gonna get eliminated since it's the first time we've really driven it down the drag strip. So we're just gonna get it ready to go and see what it does. So we'll see what problems we have, and we'll hopefully at least make one pass. Uh, so we're taking the headlight out, and we made this. So this is what I like got intake for the turbo. So we'll put that in somewhere like that. And then it'll be, a, it'll be an intake for the turbo instead of this just regular street intake. So we're going to try that out. It's the first time we ever put this thing on at a drag strip. So it makes a big difference. at the road course track uh, this morning and barely made it over here to Beach Bend because uh, our fuel pump had choked on all that debris and apparently it damaged the pump. We barely made it in here in the line of traffic that was uh, probably three or four miles long up and down these little hills. But uh, anyway, went to the Holly booth. They hooked us up, got us uh, inline pump. So we're going to go back and get that, uh, get that installed and hopefully uh, be able to do some more racing. So on the way in, these guys had an issue with the fuel pump and I guess uh, it sucked up all that foam or something. So Holly was nice enough to give us a fuel pump, I guess, at their booth. What a display pump. So we're hopefully going to be able to swap that in and get back onto the road here. But um, we got a jack from some nice guys at Fast Freddy's Rod Shop. They get, let us use their jack and some tools. So in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So definitely check out their stuff. They have some really awesome cars. But we're gonna try to get this fuel pump sorted out and get back three feet over there to the to the show. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. And it's raining. And out. Uh, 
So we pulled the pump off thinking that it was a pump issue with the filter. No gas in the filter, so we filled it up right before we came here, I guess, and the pump cut off like it was filled because we filled it up yesterday thinking that it was empty. I looked down the filler neck and it was full. We put five gallons in it yesterday and then we filled it again another five gallons. So we put seven, eight, and, a half seven and a half gallons. And we only drove it in on the track two laps and then we drove it here. So there's no way to put a half a gallon in it. Six point six nine gallons in it this morning because it acted like Yeah, and then we put gallon. more gas in it this morning. And now there's no gas in the tank. So that Maybe it's just turned into a big block and now it's taking really bad mileage. Alright, got gas, putting gas in. Okay. Putting the world's most expensive gas in the world's most expensive rambler. Alright, so we got gas. And um it makes 40 pounds of fuel pressure, so that should probably be our problem. Hey, it helps if you have half naked gas. So, all right, we should be good to go. So we're gonna go, we're finally gonna take the Rambler to LS Fest because it literally hasn't even been in the building yet. So, all right, we'll see you there. All right, guys, we finally made it back into LS Fest. Finally, both the cars are here, and we are going to finally enjoy the show and not have to wrench on stuff. So, hopefully, this rain holds off and we can get some drag race passes in. But if we can't, you know, it is what it is. At least we got to do the road course in the Rambler. So, we're just happy to be here, and I'm um, happy to see some fans of the channel and a bunch of guys interested in the builds. I saw your video on the Rambler. And uh, that's a kind of sparked our railroad thing, so it's pretty Sweet. cool. So. They're neat cars. They're goofy. They're really weird. It's, it's a wagon classic, though. It's oh, pretty. Nice. Yeah. I've never even heard of it. I, and I owned a 64 Rambler going through high school. Six cylinder push button? It, it, it wasn't a push button. It was. Uh, yeah. 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 All right, guys. We are finally in the staging lanes at LS Fest. Um, it's been on and off rain all day, so we're just trying to get one pass at least. We get some video uh, here at LS Fest of the truck going down the track. So we're in line now. Hopefully this rain holds off and we can at least get a, a pass. So we can get down the track and see what this thing will do. It is having a little bit of breakup issue. Uh, I think it's hitting boost cut. So we're just going to probably try to short shift it and see if it will solve the issue with the boost cut. So hopefully we can make a pass and see what it does. All right, well guys, it started to rain, so they're turning us back around. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to make a pass today or not. This rain has been on and off all day, but it now is looking like completely overcast. So I don't know if it's gonna be come over or what's gonna happen. So we're just heading back out. On the side of the road again. So we're on the side of the road again because this time a fuse blew and it's the main yeah, they're fuse. They're pulling up now. And we have no fuses, so Cade. Yeah, wrong size fuses. So Cade and Hunter went and got fuses. Alright, we're rescuing the Rambler. Yep, Rambler exploded. Yeah. Alright, so we we're on our way to the last day of LS Fest and it's raining again. It's going good. And we're like, you know what, let's just take the cars one last time. Let's get some t-shirts and stuff. And of course, we're on the road into there and the Rambler dies and a fuse blew. So then we tried to, Cade went and got a fuse and put a fuse in it. And now the fuel pump's not working. So we just ran back with the C10 with no wiper blades, got the truck and trailer. And we're going back there to load the Rambler up we're done. And then we're done. We're, we're calling it quits. Yeah, the Rambler has had problems the whole weekend. Yes. But, you know, whatever. I mean, the C10 runs good. Runs Trooper. Great. No problem. The Rambler fuel pump and fuel issues. And now, random fuse, electrical issue, and just killed, killed it. So we're just done. So, we're 
we're picking this thing up, loading it up. Maybe we can head there after that, but we're pretty beat up at this point. So. We still got like, well, we're gonna drive like six hours today and then like another six hours tomorrow, so. That's it for 2022. Well, we loaded up the Rambler here, but we're here at day three and it's a wet one. So we'll just see if we can see what we can see. A lot of people are leaving already, so that'll be it. Andy, what's going on? I've been behind that Duramax and it's been puking out all this heavy coal. Oh, no, no. Uh, heavy Found coal on the road dead. Found on the road dead. Into the intake. These fours need to run on air. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so we're almost to Maryland. So close to Maryland, but couldn't make it there yet. <laughs> this is a green machine. This thing runs, this thing puts out oxygen. <laughs> 